Hi, it's Lauren Lachman from the Tanglewood Wellness Center in Costa Rica. I have been asked today to talk a little bit about some vision issues. Uh, we have someone here now who has been experiencing some uh, vision problems. You have, you've been wearing glasses for how long? Since I was about 11, 12. Okay, so for seven or eight years you've worn glasses. Um, I think you said your eyesight has declined over time, which is, which is typical. Give the body a crutch, the body becomes dependent on the crutch and eyesight tends to go down. And the question was, what happens when we're fasting, especially because it seems like your vision has gotten better when you wake up in the morning, and then by the end of the day, maybe it's not so good anymore. And I think, first of all, there, we, do, we do see significant improvements in vision almost in every single case uh, because there's nothing special about the eyes and we think about the eyes as, as different somehow. People are often surprised. Maybe they understand how we might be able to eliminate issues like candida or heart disease, hypertension, uh, etc. But they're often surprised when I mention that we can also see vision improve significantly. And they, they seem to think that that's somehow different. You know, there's no, there's no boating saying that a rising tide lifts all boats. And you know, I always think about that because in the same way, every aspect of our being improves when we take our health to the highest level possible. In fact, I would suggest that perfect health, which, which may only be a theoretical construct, maybe we never achieve it, but per this perfect health that we're moving towards is about every aspect of our being functioning as well as we can. So every aspect of your physical body. You're, you know, many people think, that many people say to me, I, yeah, I mean, I, often when I'm speaking, I'll ask the audience, you know, is anyone here already experiencing perfect health? And if, invariably, if there's enough people, two or three people will raise their hands. And it's not, you know, often they've got big, thick glasses on, or they're overweight, or, you know, and I'm thinking, yeah, okay, you know, it's, it's people typically don't understand. Perfect health means you're not burdening your body by carrying a bunch of excess weight around. You're going to be lean and fit. It means your eyesight, it, you know, your, your vision works perfectly, your eyes work perfectly. And it, there's no question that given the opportunity, your body can heal your eyes just as it can heal almost everything else. What you're experiencing right now, there probably is some improvement happening each and every day that you're fasting. You're now, I think, uh, on your 14th day of, of a 26-day fast, so it's great. You're over the hump. You're more than 50% of the way there. You're doing terrifically well. Um, there's no question that your eyes are improving because it's something that happens slowly with time. Now, one of the things that we'll often see happen with vision issues is there's actually a deformation of the eye itself. The eye is essentially a ball of jelly. And this may be uh, less likely to be an issue uh, at your age, but that's not necessarily the case. I mean, what, what's true is that as people age with more years of chronic dehydration, it becomes a significant factor. So for instance, the most older people need corrected vision, either surgery these days or the old-fashioned glasses, uh, you know, or lenses. But the majority of people over a certain age, 50-something, I believe, the majority of people need corrected vision, need some sort of correction. And what's interesting is, is that the number one cause of vision loss and eventual blindness in older people is called macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is caused by deformation of the eye. And that of the eye deforms because we're losing water from all non-essential that is non-vital places. When the body is chronically dehydrated, the older you get, you know, the more consistently the body has had to take water away from the eye, as well as the joints and the skin and the discs and all these other things that tend to generate over time, in order to ensure that there's enough water for your blood, brain, heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, thyroid, those vital organs to function as well as possible. So, while that's happening, that happens slowly. Um, you know, we're setting up the conditions now for you to be able to achieve full hydration. But no one's going to achieve full hydration now. 
and we didn't calculate your hydration numbers yet. You just started eating today. I gave you the overall hydration, but we didn't actually calculate the lean hydration yet. But I can promise you, while it's, it may well be better than it was last week, it won't be close to perfect yet. That's going to take three to six months. So seeing some improvements take longer. Um, having said that, you know, we have seen amazing shift with macular degeneration, with uh, cataracts, with uh, virtually all kinds of vision issues, including with two groups of people who are all legally blind and who saw amazing shifts in their vision, fasting. So we're going to see improvements in vision across the board in virtually every single case, usually noticeably by the end of the fast. But what you're experiencing, the difference that you're experiencing from morning to night is as simple as the fact that your body is fatigued. Your eyes are fatigued. If you want to try an experiment, if you spend tomorrow all day long with your eyes closed, your vision will probably be just as good in the evening as it was in the morning, or very close to it. The, the decline that you're seeing in your vision each day, by the end of the day, is nothing more than fatigue. Even with, with perfect vision, if someone's overly tired, they may have trouble focusing. They may not see as well as they normally do. And the reason that your, your vision is changing from the morning to the end of the day each day, I believe is simply because you're spending a little too much time with your eyes open. Now, you know, coming in with vision issues, it's great, first of all, that you're not wearing your glasses, something I've encouraged you to do. You're keeping them off as much as possible, uh, maybe completely. Um, but you also want to give your eyes as much rest as possible. Uh, even, even when someone doesn't have vision issues, having your eyes open means tons more nervous system stimulation because there's roughly 60,000 bits of information hitting your brain every second through your eyes. It's a ton of information, and it's why a large portion of your brain is involved in processing visual information. Roughly 60% of your brain processes visual information because it takes up so much space. I mean, we know this from the digital world. You know, think about how much information you can get on a CD versus a DVD. You know, if, it's, if it's audio, it's just audio, or if it's video, Video takes up a lot more memory in your computer, okay? So, it's the same with your brain. Um, but even, you know, even that's even if you don't have vision issues, you want to close your eyes as much as you can while you're fasting. For anyone who does have any compromises to their vision at all, it's even more important that you keep your eyes closed so your eyes can rest as completely as possible, as much as you're willing to. So, I hope that helps. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.